let's just do this formally. Um, if you don't know, he was Dio in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Okay. <laughs> um, he also was Best Lord Hector in Fire Emblem Heroes. As oh. Well, yeah. oh, oh, oh! As well as a director known for Fire Emblem, as well as Your Life April, and most recently, yeah, yeah Let's Go. Give it up for Patrick Sykes. <laughs> So, who better else to be here than Retsuko herself? Yeah. Yeah. also known for being the newest Lord, Liana and Fire Emblem Warriors, as well as Eleanor and Tales of Berseria, great game. Give it up for Erica Mendez! Yeah. Alright, thanks for being here. Sorry that traffic was sucked. Um, yeah. It's LA. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess um, just we'll do the formal like, few questions and then... You guys can want to talk about whatever you want to talk about in the Q&A. Okay. Alright, cool. So we'll start off with the basics. The usual. How did you realize that voiceover was your calling? Uh, have I realized yet that it's my calling? <laughs> like, uh, what's, what's your passion story, your background? Oh, I don't know. I just really love video games and cartoons, so they kind of just felt like the natural thing for me. Because like I always wanted to do some sort of acting, but I was always too afraid to like do the stage thing. So, uh, but I did do the stage thing because you know, kind of you have to learn how to act to voice act. Um, didn't do much of it, which I regret. But yeah, it just kind of like voiceover just seemed the perfect way to get that kind of acting bug out of my system. And, uh, yeah, I never imagined I'd be as far as I am in like the five years I've been doing it. Been, it's been good. It's like I really could not imagine myself doing anything else. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. I think you're gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> Still time. I think you. <laughs> I think you got a future. Um, I uh, I did uh, musicals and plays in high school and college. Uh, Where did you go to college? I went to college right here. Yes, sir. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I got two creative writing degrees. That's how practical I am. <laughs> oh, um, but uh, near the end of my time here, I was like, I'm going to move to LA and be an actor. It's just that easy. Spoiler bomb. It's not that easy. Um, but uh, I went out there, tried the on-camera thing, didn't really know what I was doing. And then uh, the woman uh, out here that I had been taking uh, acting and singing lessons with was like, you've got an interesting voice. Because I've basically sounded like this from like 15 onward when I like was just as tall, twice as skinny. Um, you know, you should do VO on the side. I'm like, yeah, VO on the side. Well, the side thing ended up being where I had the traction, and uh, I've really come to enjoy the fact that it's kind of like opera or like theater. If you have the chops to do the thing, you can be the thing. On camera, I'd just be like, hey, they wanted Seth Rogen, but they couldn't get Seth Rogen, so I'm the schlubby neighbor that sells you weed. Like, <laughs> that's all I would be on camera. Like, I'm a conspiracy theorist. I've got long hair. So, doing VO, I can be any number of things, which... I've really come to appreciate in the writing and directing followed, and now this is all I do all the time. I never sleep, but uh, yeah, it's all for, the, all for the greater glory of anime and video games. So, you know, a worthy sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so speaking of which, um, can you, is there, is there anything like future projects that are coming out that you can talk about to tell our audience? Here? Gretzko mm. is probably like one of the most recent things. Yeah, who's, who's seen a Gretzko? I've seen a Gretzko. Yeah. Yeah. Very easy to finish. Yeah. It's like what, two? I watched it on the same thing. Yeah. Sounds about right. That was too. Before it came out, Patrick was like, hey, you want to see all of Gretzko before it comes out on Netflix? I'm like, yes. Yes, I do. And it was great. Everybody has shitty bosses. Like, yeah. it's, I love that the show speaks to everybody, but also makes me sad because I'm like, wow, people love it because everyone knows that pain. Yeah. <laughs> nice. But yeah, gay for Gretzko. They actually got, uh, for those of you who are inclined to drive into the Madison's LA, they actually have a like a pop up shop. The Sanrio store in Little Tokyo. Gretzko's Den of Rage. <laughs> Photo ops, you can buy stuff. It's all very cute. And then you go to Koreans. <laughs> that, was, that was our trajectory yesterday. We <laughs> get some sci yesterday. Yeah. Yep. That's that guy going, so. Um, Anything else recently? Oh, um, the, the challenge is always stuff that we can actually yeah. mention. Zero just got announced. Yeah. Um, I played Puffy with Zero, the little cat familiar. Super cute. I love cats. Yay! Who doesn't love cats? 
can we mention the one that we watched where they got us together and watched a couple episodes? We can talk about that one yet. That's another. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one's all fun. Oh. No, no, no. Uh, Stuff's being done. Can you talk about the thing that you were writing on? Not the current one, but <laughs> the one before that. <laughs> the one before that uh, I actually, within the last year or so, I've been doing uh, script adaptations. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so far I've written some episodes of Sailor Moon, the most recent season that's happening. Uh, I wrote some of Little Witch Academia, which I was also in. And uh, Fate Apocrypha, yeah, is the most recent one. So. And I also played Jack and Crochet in that, too. Also a Netflix series, if you guys haven't seen it. Her scripts are really good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me. Scripts are good. That's <laughs> true. It's, 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 it's actually one of the questions I wanted to ask. Her. Your sad scripts make me cry. No, I meant you know because like, we know you all for voice acting, but what is it like the difference between acting and directing or ADR script writing and having to fit everything and make sure it flows well? You want to take that first? I, I, mean, more experience I have more experience, but I'm all J. I mean, <laughs> I've quickly become J. <laughs> <laughs> Watching that progression, you're like, hi. You know what I mean? I become a very angry person. You've gone from like cabin girl to like JC yeah. dog captain. I'm like, yar, yar. That's the life. Yeah. Um, I mean, for me, the progression was doing the voice acting, and even when scripts are really well done, there's always a certain amount of fixing you're going to have to do in the booth because you can't always with 100% certainty uh, sort of account for how fast actors are going to speak. So you always have to make little adjusts, and from doing those on the fly, the people upstream of me on the food chain were like, hey, you, you, you see the matrix, you get, uh, try a script, we'll see what happens. Eh, try another script, see what happens. Uh, try directing, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, here's the show, good luck. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> but with the, with the writing, it's, I mean, for me, it's this process of just watching it line by line, loop the line, loop the line, look at the translation, loop the line, look at the translation, loop the line, try to, and for me, because I get really pissy about this, you guys have all watched shows where the, the, the adapted line is just the translation, but padded out with extra, and very, and really, and so, and then you can hear it, you can hear that they're just like adding filler into this, what was originally a shorter thought. I want the characters to sound like themselves, not like, hey, we're all finger puppets on like the same two hands. So. You're looking and you're trying to adapt a line, not only for content, but for vernacular, also for flap, also what words did the people before them just say, so you don't have eight lines that all start with really or well, or if they're talking about the sort of blah, 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 they're not all mentioning the sort of blah, blah, blah. And you just end up sitting there sort of mumbling to yourself and typing. And if you're me, after you get one you like, you're like, okay, time to write three alts for this line, because maybe I'll like the alts better, and then I'll delete two of them, because I clearly hate myself. 